2 a.m. on Friday morning, the newly appointed military governor of Ireland, General Sir John Maxwell, sails up the Liffey into Dublin. From the sea, it looked as if the entire centre of Dublin was in flames. When we got to North Wall, bullets were flying about. The crackle of musketry and machine gun fire breaking out every other minute. But from what I can gather, the nerve centre of the movement is in Dublin, and that part we have surrounded. I think the signs are that the rebels have had enough. I will know for certain tonight. By now, all civil authority has collapsed. Within the month, the decisions Maxwell makes will have changed the course of Irish history. There are more than 20,000 British troops in Dublin, pitted against 2,000 rebels. 